In this training video, I'm going to look at baselining a master project. So right now, all the sub projects have been brought into the master project as per previous examples. They're all linked together the way we want them to link. And now the project is ready to start. So before any project starts, a baseline should be set because that is what's been agreed. And then any change then to the baseline becomes a variance. So we're going to check now what the baseline looks like in the, in the master project. So to do that, view tab, tables, variance. Right, right now we can see there's no baseline set for any of the individual projects. So I'm going to set a baseline for the master project. And just, just change the tables back to entry, just to get used to changing tables again. So to set a baseline for multiple projects, we're not going to use the global method we've used for individual projects. We're going to use tasks. So we're going to click on task zero, come down to the very last task, control key, a shift, sorry, shift key down, and then click the last task. So all the tasks are selected. We're now going to go onto the project tab, set baseline icon, click the arrow, choose set baseline. Now the difference between baselining an individual project and baselining a master project is in the area where it says four. So for individual projects, you leave it on entire project. For master projects, you choose selected tasks. So with all the tasks now selected, I can now set a baseline. I'm going to click OK. Now if I go to the variance table, I should now see a baseline set for three individual projects. And there we go. So the baseline now has been set for all three individual projects. I could now at this stage turn on the baseline graphic if I wanted to for all three projects. So format tab, baseline arrow, baseline last saved. And the gray bar shows me that the baseline has been set for the current project I'm looking at. If I scroll down, and come across, so I'll go scroll to task. I can see for the second project, the baseline's been set. And if I look at the third project, the baseline's also been set for the third project. So the graphic's been set, the baseline's been set. So right now, if anything were to change, I would now see a variance from the baseline. Now let's see what happens in this case. So I'm going to now make one change to one of the individual projects. So I'm going to save this project now it's been set up, the master project. So I'm going to close it and say yes to all. Now if I go to job setter project, I'm going to now see whether a baseline has been set for this project. And the answer is yes. So that's come from the master project. So the master project now has set a baseline for the individual sub project as well. So, so when you have set a baseline in the master, it does come through to the individual sub projects. So I'm going to change table. Back to entry. Now, if I wanted to, I could turn the baseline graphic on in this individual project. And there it is. So there's the gray, and that's the baseline for this individual project. I'm now going to set a constraint to delay the design job specification by 20 days because the engineering manager is unavailable. So I'm going to double click the task, advanced, start no earlier than, and we'll go 20 days, which becomes the 3rd of July. Note is going to be engineer manager unavailable or engineer manager off work.
I will say for at least 20 days. And with every note, there should be a, an initial. And with this, we'll also put a date. We'll stick this back in the 2nd of June 2017. So there's my note. I can now see in the individual job set a project that the baseline has now remained in place, whereas the project has now moved on 20 days. So if I scroll to task, I can now see there's a delay. So the blue bars have now ahead of the gray bar. So that means there's been a shift from the baseline. If I check the individual project, view tab, tables, variance, I can see there's a 20 day delay, which I know is because of the engineer manager. If I then go onto the master project, so I'm gonna just change tables back here. I'm gonna save this project, say yes, I want to see, see that change. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the consolidated, which is the master project. And now we can see straight away the baseline now has changed, has remained in place, but the project itself has been delayed. So the design job specification has now moved out and I'll do a scroll to task. And there's the example, it's now moved out to the 3rd of July, which I set in the sub project. So when you do set a baseline in the master project, it then flows through to the individual sub projects. And if I make a change to the sub project, it then affects the master project. So I can see there's a change because the graphic tells me so. And if I go to the variance table, That now tells me there's a 20 delay to this project. So that's the way that baselines can help you within a master and sub project. So when you are planning your projects, it's very important that you set the projects up ready for when a baseline is saved, any change that are made will then become a variance to that particular baseline which has been saved. But this gives you an example in this video now of how baselines are set up for master projects to link to sub projects. Any changes made in the sub project then affect the master project.